an extremely important concept for most people in the workplace, uh, you know, trainees, employees, anyone in any company is um, understanding and realizing that companies are teams, not families. Okay, let's take a look at some of the objectives or some of the differences between these and then you can ask for yourself whether or not you should be seeing a company as a team or a family. If you take a look at a team, sports team, for example, it's, it's always a easiest analogy or the easiest example. A team has an objective that needs to be met, right? So in a sports team, you need to win games. You, you want to win matches. You want to win uh, leagues, championships, whatever the case is. There's objectives that need to be met. You are chosen as part of that team, to be part of that team, based on your ability to help that team achieve the objective, right? You don't get put on a sports team just because they like your face or because they're friendly with you. You need to help them. And the reason that you're there is because they believe you can add a skill and you can add a facet to that team that will help them achieve their objective. Performance is required from every member in order to cumulatively achieve that goal, right? So everybody in the team needs to perform. And if you're not performing or you're holding the team back, you need to be removed. There's a possibility, you know, if, if you're on a sports team and you break your leg, um, then, you know, as much as the team may love you, they can't put you on the field. You know, it doesn't matter how much the team likes you or how nice you are, if you can't perform, and you can't help the team reach their objective, you're not gonna be on the playing field, right? If it's a temporary thing, we may like manage and, and get you back to, to where you need to be, but at the end of the day, the team objective is more important than each of the members of the team, okay? So the team objective of winning the match is more important than how that one member of the team is feeling at the time, okay? So team, team objective, you're a part of that team, but performance is required in order to keep you on. And if you're not performing, you're going to be removed. Families, however, if you look at a family, there's no objective behind a family. You're just there. A family exists. Okay. You're born into a family. You are not chosen to be part of a family. All right. You, you believe and family is part of, you know, the, the, the benefits, I suppose, of being in, in a family is that you expect unconditional love and acceptance. You are accepted for who you are and what you are and loved regardless of what you do, how many times you stuff up in life. You can always come back to your family. They're always there for you. They will always support you regardless. They're always going to listen to you, have patience with you. Okay, sure, they may lose the plot, but you'll always come back together again. And it's not performance-based. You're not part of a family because you're a good performer. You're part of a family because you were born into the family. So take a look now at the difference between teams and families and ask yourself whether or not you should be expecting that any firm or any company you ever walk into are part of create yourself is going to be a family. I think it's fairly clear the answer is no, you're not a family, you're a team. The purpose of having a company, a firm, any company is to make profits, right? If that is the case, then that is a cumulative objective of the company and you are part of and a member of the team that is supposed to be helping to drive this company to achieve profits, to achieve this objective, uh, whatever the company strategy is, it's not a family, it's a team. A lot of companies will talk about themselves as families, and I think that this is very wrong and a little outdated, and it creates the wrong expectation. So yes, absolutely, there's a very good possibility that your firm or company is going to talk about, we're just one big happy family here. Um, and that's, it's just, it's not right. It's not true. As much as they like to believe, or as much as they, um, they want the environment and the vibe to be positive and have positive interaction, no company is a family. Even family companies should not be <laughs> should not operate as as families. You know, if your family gets together and creates a company, you'll still find that if one of the members of the family is not performing, they'll be removed from the company. Everybody's happy about this idea that we're all family here until there's non-performance. Then people are surprised that there's no unconditional love and acceptance and support here, and now all of a sudden you're removing me because uh, you don't like what I'm doing. But that's not what families do. So. You want a positive, happy working environment. The team, you want the team to be happy. You want the team to be operating well together and cohesively, but that does not mean that you're a family. Do not go into any company you ever work for or create yourself under the impression that that company is going to be a family. There is no such thing as unconditional love and support. There is no such thing as unconditional acceptance. There is no such thing as being able to not perform and still be around. And there is no such thing that you can be 
nice and um you know you're going to be kept around and everything's going to be fine because you're nice and you're happy and you're friendly and you you love each other regardless of whether or not there's any performance um there's a specific objective you're a member of the team in order to help achieve that objective you're not a family understand that 